Hello, and welcome to the Lewisburg College Library Spirit Readout. I'm Isla Schmeikes, the College Librarian, and I'm going to read to you today from the book, The Unbearable Wholeness of Being, God, Evolution, and the Power of Love by Elia Delio. This book uh, talks about quantum physics. It also talks about, uh, her argument is that evolution is not counter to any a concept of God and creation, but rather that God being pure love uh, is integral to evolution and that evolution has been fueled by love uh, and by God, and that the next phase of our evolution is uh, to become more loving. So I'm going to read two passages, one on page 59 and then another on page 69 to give the uh, sort of core of her argument. God is not a timeless being without relation to anything in time, nor is God apathetic to the fate of the cosmos. God belongs to the cosmos, and when this relationship is aborted, theology becomes a mere abstraction of a non-existent God. When the relationship between God and cosmos is aborted, we wind up with religious atheism and acosmism, that is, a cosmos without God and God without cosmos. If God is at the heart of the physical evolving cosmos, then love is the energy that makes everything precious and alive. God is the ultimate wholeness and depth of love the inner omega of everything from the smallest quark to the largest galaxy. Because divine love is totally other-centered, the whole cosmos is a theophany, a revelation of God's glory. Michael Mearson states, uh, she quotes, God's ultimate reality cannot be located in substance, what is in itself, but rather only in personhood, what God is toward another. God's exist, God exists as the mystery of persons and communion. God exists in freedom and ecstasies. Only in communion can God be what God is, and only in communion can God be at all. Since love produces communion among persons, love causes God to be who God is. The Unbearable Wholeness of Being by Elia Delio. Don't forget to feed your spirit today, and thanks for listening.